I was at school studying product design and I went and looked at some apprenticeships and one of which was industrial design. Never heard of it before. Looked at the criteria and thought that sounds fantastic. Unfortunately didn't get the apprenticeship. Went to college for a year studying art and design and then I found this course and fell in love with it once I started. It's been great. The, the structure of having this studio space and being able to sit with your peers and talk to people about your work and get feedback from both the tutors and your um, other course mates just makes your work so much better than if you were just sitting at home doing it by yourself. And I think that that's quite unique on this course from what I've heard about other things around the country, but really, really enjoy it. Before I started this course, I'd never touched a CAD program in my life, no, no computer-aided stuff. I came in here, couldn't draw a box on it, and then I've gone from that to creating this, which has been a really big learning curve, both independently and with the uni. Um, my confidence, well, I'll tell you now, I wouldn't be standing in front of a camera four years ago. I want to go into a, like pure industrial design, kind of this process of research, sketching, CAD, realisation, kind of that kind of package. And in the long run, I'd love to go into kind of design management, like creative director kind of positions. Whether that I'll ever get that far or not, I don't know, but it's, you know, it's good to dream. As soon as you start, you need to apply yourself and get your core skills learned because as you get further along and the workload increases, you don't have the time to learn those skills again. You kind of, you start picking up little bits as you go where you've got a chance right at the beginning of the first year to really like knuckle down and, you know, know it like the back of your hand kind of thing. Also, don't underestimate your own confidence and your, um, your own ability because, you know, a lot of people here, even now, don't think they're good, but you can see it on their work and on their boards that, you know, they're, they're good designers and they're going to do well, but they just need to believe in themselves.